Welcome to Low Budget Let's Check Out Airwolf for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Hello, everyone. All right, and we are uh, checking this out for the first time. This is played for us by World of Long Plays. I vaguely remember the TV show. I've never seen this before. All right, you ever seen the TV show? No. Yeah, I vaguely remember it. One of the guys they just showed in the title screen right there, I do remember him. I remember a gray-haired guy, and but man, vaguely remember the TV show either. And so, uh, and I never played this game, so I'm checking it out, checking it out here for the first time. Never seen footage or anything of this game before. Just heard about it. Or didn't really hear about it. Yeah, I've never it. seen it. Yeah. The only thing I've seen is in that NES book I have. That's about it. Yeah. So four pictures. That's all I've seen. Yeah. All right. So it's one of those uh, scrolling shoot 'em ups, kind of like Galaga or uh, R Type. Or not, not not like Galaga, but like more like R Type you say or Soul Dees. No, it looks okay so far. Yeah. Oh, look out for the Doctor Mario pill. I was gonna say, Dr. Mario's on the loose. Right. Or Contra Bombs. Well, this looks like... Geez, I'm gonna have a seizure any second. Yeah, this looks like... Looks much better than... Captain Planet when you're you're trying to use the Planet Mobile. Oh, jeez, that game. Hopefully the controls are much better here. Airwolf. Airwolf pack? Fail. No helicopter has that much firepower. <laughs> I don't know. What about Black Hawk Down? Um, unless you're Rambo. Yeah. Rambo's probably... Looks like Rambo might be <sighs> operating this. Right? This is, uh... Rambo, the, uh... This would be like the flying stage where he's in the helicopter rescuing the POWs and then has to fight, uh, Petrovsky. Yeah, no spiders and tigers in this game. Right, yeah, and platypus tigers or whatever Venom or ABGN called them. Someone called them that. I forgot who it was. No, the enemy planes again to formation. Officer, do something. Pow! And watch out for the gun turret. Shooting bubbles. <laughs> yeah, it would. It would have been cool if Contra had a stage like this. If the helicopter that dropped him off, he could also help him out in certain stages. That, that would have been a cool addition to uh, Contra or Super C. Do you ever play Scat or Action in New York? It's or to Contra? No. I think you'd like it. Oh, some Top Gun action here? Huh. I like games that have multiple gameplay styles. Yeah. Yeah, at least Darkman had that too. That was pretty cool. <laughs> and I think that's my favorite video that you and I have done as a duo so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the action seems a little slow this right here. This part seems kind of slow compared to the other. Yeah, I was going to say that. The action seems slow right here. I don't know if that's the lag or that's how the gameplay is. But that's in the first stage. Rescue command is. Is that a young Colonel Campbell or a young Bison? <laughs> so I wonder what you gotta do here. Like, oh, uh, oh, I think this is giving you the passcode because the time's okay, and the time's running out up there. I guess the players push the button, make the time expire faster. Well, at least here it gives you a passcode after you actually beat something. <laughs> Dark man. Yeah, the old school save state. Okay, I know what game this reminds me of now. It reminds me of Thunderblade. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I did a uh, long time no play of that a while back. Thunderblade for the Master System. It's pretty fun. I think they also have a Genesis version. I haven't played many of these, like, airplane, helicopter shooters. The only ones off the top of my head I played is 1942 and 43. Yeah, you know, I never played those. 
They're okay. Unfortunately, I played Captain Skyhawk. Ugh. Better not say nothing bad about this game. Someone said, oh yeah, I didn't need no faggy cheat codes. And, you know, I was four years old. I didn't use World of One Place footage. <laughs> That icon, was that Krusty the Clown? I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> we in San I think we're in San Francisco now. Get some rice a -roni. Yeah. Well, thank goodness this isn't, this isn't, isn't Dirty Harry for any Yes. Oh boy, I, I, you know, I've seen like three different people or four different people play that game, but I still can't remember it. Good. Okay, already in San Francisco, New York. I saw the Golden Gate Bridge now I'm seeing the Empire State Building. What the heck? We're flying across the country. Yeah. Thunderblade was pretty cool. It had like a different uh, variety of gameplay just like uh, this and Darkman had. I wonder if this can compete with Thunderblade. So far it seems like a decent shooter. Yeah, this looks pretty fun. But then again, without it playing it myself, I can't say how the controls are. Yeah, me either. Uh oh, boss time. Fighting the Top Gun plane. Airwolf, you must take to the air. Oh. Dodge bullets. Pick the Hawks for missions three and four. Don't let the missiles hit you. <laughs> this is the plot twist of this game. Those enemy fighters in Top Gun, you're, this is you. Yeah. Top Gun three, this so time it, you're the enemy. It's trying to refuel right now. Yeah. You must stop the enemy planes from refueling. Music right here is kind of annoying. Okay, that annoying part's over. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Oh no. Yeah, who's flying the plane, Ridley? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Stays too clear. Code as Private Bison gives us the passcode here. <laughs> he really does look a lot like Bison. Yeah, the restaurant I used to work at, Elvis Presley ate there in like the 50s when he was stationed in Fort Hood. And he there's like a, a picture of him wearing a kind of like a hat. He kind of looks like this image right here, the guy in this image. And my friend Venom22, when we worked there together, he looked at the picture. He goes, Hey, Ronnie, this is Bison when he was young and a good guy before he turned heel. <laughs> Elvis yeah, after Elvis died, he, he faked his death and became a bison. Yeah, yeah, that's why they say Elvis is still alive. That's bison. Oh, we're we in a cave now? Cool cave story, bro. <laughs> yeah, this seems pretty challenging right here. I love cave story. What was that? It's a game, Cave Story. Oh, well, you kind of cut out. Say it again. I love Cave Story. Oh, okay. All I heard was Cave Story. I'm like, and? <laughs> I never played that. Finish your I, thoughts, boy. I seen We Got Play it years ago. I think he still has it somewhere on his channel. If he didn't take it down. What hasn't he played? What haven't you played? Right. Well, I haven't played this. I'm sure there's an 8-bit stereo video that we guys done of this. I know, he, he like posts in like every day games I've never even heard of. Yeah. Whoa, man, those missiles look hard to dodge. At least you can fire diagonally in this game. That's really cool. Yeah, oh, now you got tanks to deal with. It reminds me of Iron Tank for NES. Have you played that? I've seen it. Never played it myself. Yeah, I did a uh, long time no play of that back in 2009, shameless plug. When it comes to tanks, my only real experience in gaming form is Jackal, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I've been 22 play Jackal. 
This battle will make your blood boil. Alright. Man, this cave reminds me of the first level in Conan for NES. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, that's the game I've definitely not played and don't look forward to playing. Oh, come on. Man, this this World of Long player right here is really <laughs> barely avoiding these bullets. Uh-oh. I like how the boss battles here are in, like, first-person shooter right here. It's pretty cool. The only complaint is the music's kind of annoying and the uh, slow motion gameplay. When was this game made? Like, when did it come out? I didn't notice. Oh, heck, I forgot to look at the year. I'm not sure if it's 91 or maybe earlier. I mean, Airwolf. Jeez, I remember that, like, in the, when I was a kid, like, in the 80s, so I don't know. Because if this is an early game, that game is slow down. Yeah. Man, what are these things? Whoa, look out. It's about to hit me. Or not me, but whoever's it's playing. It's like a blob. Oh! That person buried in one. It was <laughs> the red blob. It's about to hit the player. Nineteen eighty nine. I just looked. Ah, oh, cool. All right, this is the norm right here. And we he don't just, prepare, folks. Like he just pushed start instead of making the timer count down faster. And what's the hurry when making you when writing down the password? Why can't they let you decide when I you're ready? Why I give a time limit? Uh, AVGN said that once. It's stupid enough to have a time limit in any games anyway, unless it's a certain reason, like make sure you're trying to skip the planet or something. A certain part of the game that makes sense but in every level and when you die what kills you something invisible kills you and it like and then and now you got passwords in the time limit i mean excuse time limit. yeah uh you got time limit in the password screen what? time time limit the time limit <laughs> yeah yeah time limits in the password screen road blasters i think did that bs like come on really and roger rabbit i think too well, roger rabbit's terrible game anyway. but, uh... Metal Gear on the NES, the title screen lasts a fraction of a second before it goes to the demo. <laughs> now we're in the, uh... uh Empire Anarch Strikes Back. An yeah. Anarcho or Hoth? Hoth uh, coming through. Ah! Where's the, uh... ATDs or whatever those giant machines are? <laughs> it's the shells of the Empire for the NES. Oh, speed up. Whoa, watch out. Slow down. Jeez. Jesus, flashing. Yeah. Take your vitamins, kids. Yeah. That bullet doesn't even look like it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look out for the battleship. I got destroyed quick. You suck my yeah. Those little helicopters. This game does have a lot of variety, I will say that. Yeah. Airwolf, you'll be howling in the skies as you battle enemy ships. So, I guess in Twilight Princess you can transform into an airwolf? Fail. <laughs> that would be cool if you could fight. Man, this pilot's got some serious skills. Yeah. Now Whoa. they get to planet stage now. This is battleship for the NES. Now, uh, man, you gotta find multiple battleships here. There really is a battleship game on the NES, too. Yeah, I know. The, now, those red things at the bottom, is that the time limit of your health? I think it's your health. And I'm not sure. No, I know it's time because he hasn't gotten hit yet. Yeah. This boss battle seems a little, maybe easier than the previous ones. It might just be me. Seems like he can kill one at a time. Well, 
It's sped up now. I don't care if this is well the long place, Ronnie. It's still real to me. Yeah. <laughs> John Hawk. Well, John Hawk. Don't forget this pet light. Black Hawk. I guess. Okay. Six. I think that's a five. Yeah. Zero. I believe that's a two. And the last number is. Wait, I almost got it. Damn it! They didn't give me enough time. Oh, time's up. You're not ready. Stage five. Somewhere there's like maybe eight stages. I'm not sure. Now this looks like Metal Gear. Oh yeah, it the does. opening. Yeah, right when he, uh, they drop him off in the in the jungle. Have you played Metal Gear 2: Snake's Revenge? I never played it myself. Oh, oh, the NES one, yes. Yeah. It's all right. I've, I've been watching World Long Place play it. Uh, and, uh, I mean, so far it seems pretty good. The music is better, I think, in some ways. Oh, although I've never had the opportunity to play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake for the MSX, but I've seen it, and I, I'd like to play it. Yeah, I played one for... There's a Metal Gear Solid for Game Boy Advance. Did you know that? Probably. <laughs> yeah, I played... I didn't play on for YouTube, but I played it a while back, like a few years ago. It's pretty good. This kind of reminds me of Ninja Gaiden 2, where he jumps out of the plane and lands in that jungle. Right, right. But that's a Ninja Gaiden 2. I mean, Ninja Gaiden also. The first Ninja Gaiden, not Ninja Gaiden 2. So up there, it says 10. Was I guess it maybe your lives? Yeah, yeah, I think so, because the equal is right there. And fuel. Do we not have fuel? I, I, you know, I just thought of that myself. Like, what? What? Why? <laughs> They're using ECW mode. <gasps> That's their secret. Yeah. World of ECW plays. <laughs> oh, that'd be my channel. <laughs> <laughs> jungle! Back into the jungle! Jungle Buggy. Just put an 8 bit version of that in Jungle Strike. <laughs> Boss Man, I hope there are no innocent civilians around. Right. Uh oh. Fighting some tanks here. Oh, look out. You play Battle Tank for... I think it's called Battle Tank for SNES? No. That's alright. Gary Kitchen's Battle Tank. I don't really get into, like, the war-type... like, games, mostly. Yeah. The music. Oh, jeez. I forgot which game it was, but we got uploaded a soundtrack of it, and it sounded like a bunch of... Uh, and like two or three songs in the game, that's it. <laughs> and it was awful, but we got carry uploads everything as part of you know just a uh, part of this thing where it uploads all the soundtracks in NES. And oh, it was just such garbage. People in the comment section, not mad at him, but just criticizing the uh, music in the game. Like, oh, it's terrible. One game along these lines, though, that is really awesome. Although I haven't played it since I was a kid, but I remember loving it. Was GI Joe the first one? You know, I don't think I've ever played that one. There are two of them, I think, and the first one was great. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Am I the last tank? And I think in some ways these boss stages are easy because the action's so slow, the the uh, projectiles come at you slowly. It would be so fitting if he appeared in red. Right, yeah. Venom customized his colors in uh, Capcom vs. SNK2 and called him the Milkman. <laughs> it was hilarious. Instead of psych his psycho power, he's got the bovine power. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, Bimilko Mania. <laughs> like Kurt Angle. <laughs> Whoa, we find enemies on Mount Rushmore. What the heck? What the hell is this? Whoa. This is either the worst thing I've ever seen or the best thing. I can't decide. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> what? Reminds me of Life Force here. Okay, up until this point, this has been kind of, kind of a bland, you know, nondescript type of game. But okay, now it has an identity. Right. Yeah. I will forever think of this game because of this right here. Right. Well, what is this now? Whoa. Okay. Now this game is getting really cool. Now I feel like I'm playing Soul Dice or one of those space shoot 'em ups here. This looks a lot like action in New York. This background. Th that's the enemy helicopter. That's Petrovsky here. <laughs> and this looks hard. All right, and, but he may look easy. He or she, whoever's playing. That was a quick one. Yeah, I could tell that I would be failing a lot. Projectiles come after me from every which way. Input stage one, rescue command. Wait, are these all the passwords that you wrote down? Oh! I think I get it. You had to write all those down. Maybe. I guess so, yeah, huh? Whoa. There he is. Is this like a good ending or something? I think so. There's Private Bison. Okay, so you had to say. I'm bison. curious. I'm gonna have to look that up and see how that works. Because it really looked like passwords to me. All I knew is we just blew the hell out of Mount Rushmore. I know, right? A and new then battle we're flying to Japan, apparently. A new battle awaits them. Wait, is this the ending or not? Yes, it is. Now, let's oh, say so. uh, there's a, se a, a second quest, or uh, it's the same game but harder. And as we fly off into the sunset beside a frozen pillar of smoke. Yeah. That reminds me of Super C's ending. I know, games like that in Contra, you know, you play for weeks, if not months, or maybe years, some of us trying to beat those, and then when you finally do, just a one screen ending, and then that's it. Yeah, and at the time, you, you feel satisfied. Um, but you look back and go, wow, the ending's kind of lame. But when I was a kid and I saw the Captain Skyhawk ending, this is what you saw right here. And Captain Skyhawk, yeah. the end. I was very, very disappointed, even though I cheated to beat the game. Still, like, the end? That's the game over screen. At least show an ending with it before you show the end. That's one, one thing game. I really hated about that game. It took me years and years to beat was the original Double Dragon. I actually didn't beat it until a few years ago. And when I finally did, I yelled, yes, so loud. And I was so happy that I really didn't care that the ending was so short and kind of crappy. Yeah. Well, it looks like he, I don't know, <laughs> if he was, they was trying to play right here and got game over, or what the heck is going on? <laughs> but that is it. I don't know. That is it for low budget. Let's check out Airwolf. And uh, I'm looking at the related videos here that no one else can see, except me and you. Mega Drive Long Play Super Airwolf. Hmm. I might want to take a look at that, see what that looks like. Tiger Hell? Helly? I want to see that one. Tiger Helly. I think I heard of that one, yeah. Tiger Handheld? Oh, no. Uh, Simon's Quest. There you go, Ronnie. Yeah, there you go. So Airwolf with NES, uh, like I said, I vaguely remember the TV show, but man, uh, th this game is, eh, you know, I, give, I think, think so far, by what I've seen it, by what, but I, by what I've seen it, by what I've seen of it, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It doesn't look like a bad game. It seems bland for the most part, but it seems like uh, some pretty good action, uh, simple shoot 'em up and then those last two levels right there, that was, that was pretty cool. Things are getting good, getting good, but then the game ended. <laughs> Uh, the music was okay, so that boss battle music part, <laughs> tingling, annoying music, whatever. Reminds me of the annoying music in Uninvited where you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, 
In this game, I'm not seeing that bad, though. I give it a 7 out of 10. Well, like I said, I was comp- I went into this completely blind, and I have to say, it's not that bad. The actual side-scrolling part, it looks like, you know, it could be adrenaline pumping. You know, if you know what you're doing, you can breeze through this game, and, like, this was, like, 20, 23, 24 minutes long. The boss sections, it's cool that it, they kept varying it up. They were kind of slow, you know, but that might have just been, you know, graphical capabilities at the time. But, um, like I said, I never played it. This is this 23 minutes is literally all I've seen of this game. So, based on what I know, what I've seen, I would have to give it, because like I said, it's not bad, but ain't nothing to write home about. So I give it a six out of ten. I was thinking a five, like make it dead center, but that Mount Rushmore thing bumped it up another point. Right, yeah. All right, and the ending was pretty decent, especially for its time. And uh, you said this, you went into this blind. We should really do a blind run and like let's close our eyes and go by what we hear. Hmm, sounds good. Oh, the music's cool. <laughs> Sound effects. Oh, that sounds hard right there. <laughs> and oh, the boss battle sounds intense. <laughs> But, um, yeah, let's hear Airwolf. Now, um, <laughs> all right, that is it. We're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Tibbs. God bless and take care.